Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm in a Lumens Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago. I'm in Chicago. So I'm just going to add that in because I think that uh, sometimes people don't realize I am actually in the Chicago area. How are you today? So this has been a real doozy of some moon energy um, on the tail end of it. I knew that there'd be sort of a backwash. There's still always a lot going on, but it's beginning to um, lighten just in time for sort of this plunge, which will affect, affect a lot of the masculine. So the topic of this video is lovers made in the stars. And I have a few things to talk to you about because it's very pertinent for not only the energy we're in, but what's coming up? What does it mean for lovers made in the stars? What does that mean for the lovers? Well, it means togetherness. It means togetherness in a deep level, which is sometimes almost undetectable. The reason it's undetectable is because this goes so far back to ancient times. And there's been a lot of clearing collectively in order to accomplish that. How does this uh, go forward then? Well, we're seeing it go forward because as the couple themselves connects and connect, there's multiple shakeups, multiple shakeups, which are mini tower moments or even days of tower moments. A lot of men are going to experience this. I caution you, do not be hasty. Haste makes waste. Don't do anything with a knee-jerk reaction. Haste makes waste. That's all I can say. Okay? More speed, less haste. Mini tower moments. That means that some of the things that shake up your day, shake up your life, things that you thought, you know, and suddenly it goes differently. What else is in this energy? Well, there's a sense of in the past, like being doomed somehow. Failing. Um, always a failure at something. Always a failure at business. Always a failure at relationships. Always a failure at a marriage. Always a failure as a father or a parent or something like that. And there's going to be many shakeups to stir it up and get it moving in the proper direction. Larger organizational tower dismantling. We are seeing this big time on the global scale. We see this with um, organizations. It could be school districts. It could be strikes, union strikes. There's something that needs to change. We can see this with financial systems. We can see this with uh, local government, or we can see it with larger government. And that's what I mean by organizational. Why? Because it has a big effect for the male side. Male side. So the conscious mind, I have a card for you, which I haven't had cards in a while. The lover's card. Okay, the lover's. Le Emero. Um, the lovers and what about the lovers? Well, this is to be able to synchronize, okay? Be on the same mental wavelength, be on the same emotional page, get more into sync than you may realize that you have needed. What else can it have to do with? Well, it's going to have to do with the light and the dark. Some of this stuff is well-intentioned, but it's, you know, getting a bit dismal. Maybe not completely evil or dark, but it's dismal. It's the same old thing. It's not bringing the same results, and it needs to change. So what is this? We have a melding of the conscious mind, the male, which is sensible, practical, and non-reactive. And we have the unconscious mind, which is the female dreamy, imaginative, emotional, good emotions, the kind of emotion that sets things into motion and is transformational. 
So changes in the air, and this pertains to the higher self, the angel that you are both here to blend this up with. And I found another card, too. Look at that one. Number five, transformation. It's David. Okay, David's depicted as the boy here, not as King David. But on the flip side, check it out. Hearts, a dove, which is an image of peace. And you could see, if I found this, this was already trampled by the rain. This was at, actually outside of school. So there's multiple aspects here. Organization, school, education, transformation, peace, love, hearts, real hearts. And going from the boy to the man. Going from the small to the big to take out the Goliaths. Not in a bad way. With love. With love. By how? By melding together, by blending the best of both sides, you are here to both blend this up. You are angels, so it's time to transform. You've got things to do. There is still a schedule. Are you feeling exhausted? I get it. Are you tired of hunting and pursuing or what we call running and chasing? Are you tired of sometimes the, the game of some of this? Please come and find out more because there is a huge disentangling going on from the lovers that are made in the stars. I talk about it in my book, in Twin Flame Ascension, Sleep and Love. Are you having sleep disturbances? Are you having the wake-ups? Are you sleeping in shifts? Are you finding that, you know, some of this stuff is also shaking you up at night? It's shaking you up. You're seeing little bits, pieces, little bits of the past. It's coming out. You're tired. It's making you tired. You're just sort of tired of it. Sometimes when we start with this journey, everything is brand new and it's a novelty. But everything that's old gets to the point where it's just boring already. It's boring. Uh, it's tedious. You want to say, again, I'm tired. I want the real stuff. I want the lovers we are. Why can't we just fix it with a kiss? Why can't we just... You know, we're going through shakeups. Why can't we get the change in? So, yes, I am saying yes, 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 yes. It is time to transform. You need to make new footholds and get to higher dimensions. Are you feeling bogged down? Are you feeling a heaviness? Part of how twin flames have to be is they have to eat, actually help each other's energy up. And sometimes it means helping each other out of a mood. Sometimes it means helping each other out of a slump or a depression. Sometimes you can sense it. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can see your lover going through some of the shakeups in their life. Sometimes you're not seeing it. You're only sensing what's happening behind closed doors. Maybe you're not. Maybe you need to um, step up here and do some things to get things unstuck and shift it. So the other um, thing that is denoted with the lover card is the emotional, spiritual, and physical divine marriage. So it's time for more physicality, and that's going to mean people coming together, people showing up, people sometimes returning lightened up, and... You want to make sure, are you, I'm going to say this because a lot of times we focus on so much of the positive, like, ooh, there's a lover card being shown, right? When it's upside down, that means reversed. What that means is there's aspects that have been interference at these levels, lovers made in the stars. What could those be? It could be as simple as envy or jealousy. Someone is jealous of seeing two lovers together. That happens. Someone is jealous of seeing someone with a baby and they want to have a baby. They don't really want to do something to that person. They don't want to hurt them or hurt the baby. They just want what's theirs. And that is the good news about this energy is whatever reversed the course to begin with, okay, whatever reversed the course and turned their lives upside down at some point, 
it gets to be removed. I do that through a session, causal body session. This helps you to get new footholds. This is for manifestation, okay? Because like I spoke of, if you've had a sense of existentialism, which men do a lot, they'll question. Male children do it. They do it. They say, why am I here? What's this all about? What's happening to me? They sense it, but they may not be able to feel everything. Okay? I talk about some of this in my book in a section just as it starts called Disentangling of Soulmates. Disentangling and unraveling the soulmates so that you can go from here to here. And when it comes to other things, healing, how do you heal? Healing on the angelic body is very different. In a human body, you get a cut, you get a scab, you know, you wait till it scabs over, and then the skin gets itchy, the scab falls off, you got put cream, you got put a band-aid. Healing your angelic body means you've closed the past and you want no more of it. And this is the energy after the landscape that that is actually valid. That's not just a hope, like, oh, I hope history stops repeating itself. It's clipped off. It's done. Everything that went boom and boom, okay, it's not going to. But it requires your vigilance. It requires your participation. And it requires love, first and foremost. The highest love that you're capable of mustering. Not dissension, not disharmony, not blame, not shame, not name-calling, love. The kind of love where you say, I may not know how, but I'm going to find out how. I may not know exactly where we're going, but I know we're going something higher. I know that I'm going to transform him or her from, let's say, a younger, smaller to a grown, mature transformational man or woman because women can embody they can have this happen with their masculine energy too how much of your masculine energy has need, been needed to actually defend you from life defend you from people places things all kinds of stuff is it worn out are you too empathic okay it's time to you know start to understand that there is a way to cut to the chase. I do that in my causal body session. Manifest. Is your manifestor broken? Do you wish to dispel the past fairly easily? And I mean easily where you're not, you know, going to therapy for years and years and years to come. Therapy is well and good, but therapy is not going to know about your lover. In fact, sometimes people get talked out of things. They, you know... You have to be sensible. That is the part you're bringing in. Sensible, sensibility, practicality. Don't react. Do not react. Do not overreact. Be responsive and be willing. So some of the other things, um, what is reflected in your home? What isn't reflected in your job? Jobs especially right now are going to be those things that you're not looking with the magnifying glass and seeing, you know, what's glaring out at you. You're looking at the small parts. What are the small things that need to change? That was a part of this micro moon, micro super moon, because it's doing a lot because you are looking at some of the minute things and as you know, you can have one little thing and it sets a whole thing into motion. One little hole in one dam will actually send all the water gushing at some point because the pressure builds up. What if you were able to move some key spots on your body and set in motion a series of things where the dams burst? You feel better. You feel easier and free and you start feeling like the angel you are and not a bogged down human being you are a human angel every twin flame is a human angel and regardless of that you have a new body template that's here to enable you to thrive completely thrive 
and not have to choose between living and loving. You love and therefore you live. And as you live, you continue to love. So, some of the things that um, lovers encounter, okay, is not always interference from this life. It's not always friends, family, children, or in-laws or bosses, although it can be that. It's going to be cosmic level past life stuff, which is the level I help at and help you to get to higher dimensions. So I strongly encourage you have a causal body session and I'm doing a class Okay, a union workshop, Twin Flame Union, I couldn't fit all the words here. Check the description below, click on the link. If you're in Chicago, if you're in Wisconsin, Chicago, um, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Michigan, it's fairly close. Um, there's a lot of places around here to stay at, and it's a two-day workshop. I'm trying to make it into two and a half days. I'm trying to like get us started on a Friday evening. That's a Saturday. I would like to show some people around Chicago. And I hope that some people are open to that. I'd really like to be able to show off my grid point, my city. We are a world-class city. We have world-class paintings and museums and sports and restaurants and architecture. And we have a huge lake that many people think is an ocean. And like any big city, there are places maybe, you know, you might not want to go into that old level. I know where you could have a very nice time and see some of the city and enjoy it. So if you are interested in this, reach out. The links are below. Or email me, twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Because this is a time where the other part of you, usually the masculine, but not exclusively the masculine, it's masculine and feminine, the lover is coming down to earth and they need a soft landing. They don't need to be baffled anymore. They don't need to be beat up by the world. They don't need to be on the defensive they don't need to be, you know, jockeying for position. They just need some loving embraces and some softness and sweetness. And so this is what the direction is that we are going with this. You know, we're here with a completely brand new fresh start, brand new template, brand new level that you love in and live in. And I always think of... Um, Batman. <laughs> Batman is a good example of like he's he's sort of the dark side of the do-gooders. He wants to do good. He wants to fight crime. And everyone's like, Batman, why are you doing this yourself? He's like, I'm Batman. And he has to do it himself, but he gets tired, he gets beat up, he has to go home, lick his wounds. He's searching for his love. He's got this love and like she can't know who he really is because what if what if she knew he was Batman and he's this guy in a cape and a mask? She wants nothing more than to get his mask off and say, be yourself, be free, be you. I know you have a good heart. I know you've suffered pain. I know who you really are. And he's saying, you don't know me. Don't see me. I'm Batman. I have to go out and make the world right. But it gets exhausting to do it by yourself. Why not be lovers and combine and blend yourself? The angels you are are both here to blend this up. And I mean for real. Not just like in talk or in theory or some energetic theory of is this a concept? No, with passionate kisses. That's what everyone really wants. They want the hugs and the kisses and all the rest kind of falls into place like dominoes. Have you ever been in a riptide? Okay, that's something. I was out in Hawaii once and I kept getting pulled out to sea. And I didn't even realize it at first. And all I could think about was sharks in the water. 
And I was too far out to yell for help because I tried. And it was up to me. And the good news is I figured out how to do it so that I got back and I think I kissed the ground for the beach when I got back and it was a lesson. It was a lesson that when there are tides, when there are rip tides, when there's energies, to work with it and use it to your advantage if you can. If not, your best thing is go with it. And I want to tell you, this is why I say the lovers made in the stars are coming down to earth. Make the most of this. Make a soft landing. Get yourself. Get things ready. Um, here in the Northern Hemisphere, we're going into autumn weather. Autumn, and I think it's going to be an early winter. All the signs are there that this will be an early winter. And yet in the Southern Hemisphere, what you will find is that the men pop out of the woodwork. Okay, it's their springtime. It is it's the springtime of their lives, in other words. And yet, as they continue to um, show up and show up in droves, this is going to be a really good thing. And, you know, to a degree, you have to do this to the past and say, you know what? Another one more fresh start. One more fresh start. If it's the right person, which your heart should tell you. If it's not the person, it's going to show up in a different way. And I can't predict every way that's going to show up. But you have to feel, okay? And that's a part of the reason for the shakeup because, you know, that sensibility, even if you dream and you imagine things, if you're sensible, you're going to know even more as we go through this. So reach out. Um, have a session with me. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. There's a lot of movement that happens, a lot of shifting. And remember, love heals. Check out my other site, Twin Flame Body. I have a lot of material on there to help you with all different types of topics. So thank you so much. And remember, lovers, you're here to be lovers. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.